Let nobody say that if William Ruto falls, that Gachagua is going to take power. William Ruto will fall with Gachagua, with Rai Lodinga, and with all his collaborators. And when that happens, we will demand that the Chief Justice steps in and chairs the transitional council that will shepherd uh, Kenya into a new republic. Good morning, Patriots. Today, I'm going to speak to you as the general of the National Revolutionary Movement and the general of all the revolutionary forces. And as a tactical and strategic master, listen carefully. William Ruto is cornered. His back is against the wall. So he's going to act desperately. He's going to act desperately because he wants to cling to power. Now, we have to come up with strategies to defeat William Ruto in the most efficient, effective, and shortest possible time. So what do we need to do? Number one, when attacked at home for no reason and attempts are made to abduct you, make noise and resist. Let members of the neighborhood come to your aid and repulse the goons. Abductions are illegal under the Constitution. Arrests, normal arrests in the regular manner are legal, but only if they have a basis. You have a right to resist. You have a right to self-defense. So that's number one. Don't run away. Don't cower. Don't put your tail between your legs and simply go like a cow ready for slaughter. Number two. We need to spread William Ruto's goons thin throughout the country, which means that regardless of where you are, from north to south, east to west, you should rise up and protest everywhere, occupy everywhere. William Ruto has a maximum of three, 325,000 armed men and women, not enough for 54 million uh, Kenyans. Not enough to suppress a whole country. Spread them thin, spread them thin everywhere. Number two, we need to gather in huge numbers in major cities, starting with Nairobi. This gathering should be in one central place, like they did in Tahir Square in Tunisia. And you need to make it one huge cavalcade with lots of people, one million plus. When you do that, and you do that consistently, and you do not disperse, and you stay there day after day, within six days, William Ruto will be no more. His forces will be gone. The international community will abandon him. The press that he is currently also brutalizing. For instance, I express my heartfelt condolences and also sympathies to those that William Ruto brutalized today and the journalists that he shot in Nakuru today. The media must rise up against William Ruto because he stand his guns against the media as much as he stand his guns against the civilians. The international community eventually, regardless of their location, will rise up against him because they don't want to be in the bad books of Kenyans. Number five, I call upon the legal profession because I'm a lawyer, I'm an advocate of the High Court of Kenya, and I practice law as a barrister and solicitor in Canada. The lawyers who are patriotic must rise up against William Ruto. Turn up in large numbers in your gowns and march draped in Kenyan flags. Let the world see that William Ruto is going to treat the Kenyan flag as contraband, as a criminal uh, garment. Let us expose William Ruto's autocratic, tyrannical, 
uh, DNA to the entire world. Let us expose William Ruto to the media, the international media, including the Giveri media in Kenya. Let us make sure that we expose William Ruto, we resist him, and we protest against him gallantly. Within six days of consistent daily protests, William Ruto will fall. The problem that I've seen with the current protests is that they are like flash floods. We do them one day and then we allow him time to go and recuperate and rearm and stock his ammunition and hire more goons. We should not give him respite. We should not give him a breathing space. William Ruto has crossed the Rubicon. He has crossed the red line. He's reached a point of no return. He must fall and he must fall now. Let us forget about our sectarian parochial uh, differences. Patriots must unite. And we cannot say that when William Ruto falls, there will be a vacuum. There will be no vacuum. Let nobody say that if William Ruto falls, that Gachagua is going to take power. William Ruto will fall with Gachagua, with Raila Odinga, and with all his collaborators. And when that happens, we will demand that the Chief Justice steps in and chairs the transitional council that will shepherd uh, Kenya into a new republic where we will have fresh elections with a reconstituted IBC and we will overhaul the entire system that was set up by the colonialists and revolutionize and transform our systems of government, our economic systems, our social systems, our cultural mores. Kenya is ripe for a rebirth and we must do this for the country. Don't ask me where I am. Don't ask me where I'm speaking from. That's sectarian parochialism. Because the only people asking that question are people who want to abduct me. People who want to come and torture me and kill me. I've gone through many of those, starting from Moe's time up to now. Let no old men and women lie to you and sell fear to you that William Ruto has reformed. That now is the time to give him time. We don't want reforms. This is a revolution. We want a total, complete overhaul of the rotten, rotten colonial structures so that we can build fresh, people-friendly, and empowering structures for national rejuvenation. Viva! Power to the people.